chosen ones where you are chosen ones you read the title and you know what this video is about right it's simple they set a trap for you and fell into it i repeat they set a trap for you and they fell into their own trap that they have set right great um they set a trap for you not because you are a bad person not because you are an evil person not because you are a wrong person not because you are a wicked person not because you don't love them all right they set a trap for you all because you as a chosen one you are a good person they set a trap for you all because you are so kind they set a trap for you all because you are generous they set a trap for you because you are an honest person they set a trap for you because you are loyal, you are faithful, you are dedicated, you are committed 100% to whatever task you are given to do. They set a trap for you because you shared your dreams with them. That's you've seen yourself being great tomorrow. Because you shared your vision, your aspirations, your purpose with them. Because you told them you will open that charity organization. You will open that orphanage. You will help the special kids, the special children in need. And because of this good stuff that you share with them, they set a trap for you. They set a trap for you thinking if they could get you, then your dream would never ever come to pass. They set a trap for you thinking if they capture you, then your family members who God put in your heart to help, they will suffer it. They set a trap for you thinking if they trap you, then the people God put in your heart to help, which are the needy people, which are the orphans, which are the special needs, the marginalized, the weak in society that you are advocating for, will suffer. So because of these good things, they don't want these good things to come to pass in your life. And they set a trap for you because you are a good woman a good man they set a trap for you because they never ask you something you have and you deny them whatever they ask of if you have because you are loving compassionate and generous and kind you just give it out without thinking about it. Sometimes you are so kind, you are so good, you are so generous, you are so compassionate and loving that you put yourself in the shoe of others. And when they request of your help or support or anything, you help them before later you realize that, oh, it was even your last money in your pocket that you use to help because of this good kind nature of you they set a trap for you just to trap you they set a trap for you because you supporting everybody they set a trap before you for you because you are a blessing 
to the people around you. You are a blessing to the people in your cycle. And because of this, they set a trap for you. But I'm telling you, chosen one, all this trap that is set for you never trap you. You keep on escaping all their traps, all their evil schemes. And what happened? They fell into it themselves. The trap they set for you to trap you, they fell into eat themselves why this is simple because jesus said those who live by the sword would die by the sword would die by it so the evil men do the evil people do leave after them I repeat, the evil people do, or cause, leaves after them. If you live by the sword, you will definitely die by the sword. If you set a trap for your fellow human, for a good person, you will eventually fall into your own trap. Because for a good person to be trapped, then an evil person got to be trapped. You cannot monk God. You cannot make fun of God. To take a good person, a kind and generous person, why the evil ones leave? No. If you live by the sword, you would definitely die by the sword because you an evil person you are the one causing all the wickedness and there is not gonna be a sleep for you there is no sleep for the wicked scripture confirms that if you are wicked you will suffer it the thing is chosen one they cannot be evil and go scot-free they cannot be evil and just be set free they have to face the consequences they have they have to face the results of being evil that is why they set a trap for you and they fell into it the ten is chosen ones you cannot take a knife and be slicing an onion an onion right and expect others who are not Slicing it, taste it first, <laughs> smell it first, get into their eyes first. It will surely get into your eyes first before any other person. And that is absolutely what happened to them. Because they are the ones holding the knife, slicing the onion. So it will get into their eyes first before it gets to any other person. So the trap they set for you has trapped them themselves. I repeat, the trap they set for you has trapped them themselves. You cannot be peeling an orange and expect someone who is not holding the knife, peeling the orange, to feel what name should I give to uh, that scent or that, you know, um, orange, 
water that comes when you are peeling the skin that gets into your eyes just like an onion you cannot be doing that and expect someone to suffer the consequences they fell into their own trap they fell into their own pit dark just like joseph brothers did to him all right because joseph shared his dream with them they never want his dream to come to pass they said no 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 we aren't gonna bow before you but at the right time they bowed and joseph said to them get up i'm not in the position of god you plan evil against me but god turned it to good that is what is happening the trap they set for you right is now trapping them the evil they plot for you is now on them the spell the wicked stuff they plan against you oh we surely visit them it will surely happen and it's happening to them that is why they see you and it's like they can't even smile at you they can't laugh they see you and they are shocked they are surprised they see you and they put on some camouflage face that is why they envy the jealousy the hate on you as a chosen child because what they plan in secret in hidden places couldn't get you they are evil secrets deceptive traps and agendas has captured them and their families oh yes you cannot be doing something bad and expect others who are good people who are righteous to suffer it god will intervene on his chosen ones on the righteous on those who are doing right and will punish all those who have evil intentions and plans against you when you see their life you will know they are suffering for it when you look at them you really get to understand that they are really paying for whatever evil whatever trap they set for you it has captured them themselves that said chosen ones it is simple this is no wickedness this is not that you as a chosen one you wish that upon them or for them no that is what it is supposed to be that is what God chose to do. They set a trap for you and fell into their own trap that they set for you. Oh yes. If it is good, then test it yourself. Every arrow they fired at you has returned to them in multiple folds. Oh yes, you cannot take a poison and expect someone to die. No, it won't work that way. God stopped it and they are paying for it dearly. They are really, really paying for it. They are paying 
for everything, every pit, the dark before you, for you, to bury you. Oh, they've gone themselves. They are into it themselves. Because as a chosen child, no weapon formed against you, no weapon fashioned against you is going to prosper. If the weapon will not prosper, then where will the weapon go? It will go back to them. Yes, as simple as that. Right? The pain you cause others is the same pain that comes back to you sooner or later. If it is sooner, you okay. If it is later, it's going to be pressed down, shaken, multiplied, and given to you in a compound interest. When we understand this, we will all be good people. Because you will understand that the joy that you put on others' face is the same joy that comes back to you. Multiply, press down, shaken, and giving to you in a compound interest. Same way, the evil that you cause others will come after you. The evil men do leaves after them. The evil women do live after, after them. The evil people do live after them. Oh yes, this is quite simple. That's say chosen ones. Thank you chosen ones. Thank you lovely family. Thank you for watching this video. If this video is of help to you, let me know in the comment section. Stay blessed always and may every evil, every trap set for you, every grave, every pit dug for you, may those who are responsible for such stuff fall into their own traps, their own pits, their own arrow. All right? Thank you for watching. I'm out.